Hello and welcome to the MSP M0 Peripheral Training Series. In this video, I will introduce the basic functions of the I.O. module and how to begin using it. First is the GPIO function module. This is a general function of MCUs and allows the user to read digital inputs or write digital outputs to device pins. In order to meet demand for flexible use IOs, M0 provides the IO MUX module to manage the IO ports in a unified manner. Through the IO MUX, IO can be configured as a digital input or output. When used as a digital input, it can support the configuration logic, logic inversion control, and hysteresis control. It can also select the corresponding digital peripherals through input MUX. A list of peripheral functions can be found in each device's datasheet. When being used as a digital input, you can select the corresponding digital peripherals through output MUX, which shares a control signal with input MUX. The I.O. module can be used to configure the pull-up and pull-down resistors of the I.O. port. These are valid for both inputs and outputs. This function is disabled by default and you will need to choose whether to implement it in your project. As you can see, the I.O. MUX functions as a peripheral multiplexer which makes I.O. functions on the M0 much more convenient. I.O. MUX also supports analog functions. To enable an analog function, the user must disable the digital function in I.O. MUX, then enable the analog function in the appropriate analog peripheral. The I.O. MUX also enables the user to choose which pins can wake the MCU from sleep mode. In summary, the I.O. MUX is responsible for enabling both digital and analog pin functions. It is also responsible for configuring the digital functions of the pins. Now that we have an understanding of how the IOMUX module of the MSP M0 works, we can learn how to use it. First, we recommend buying an MSP M0 launchpad to get started on development without any additional accessories. Next, we can find the MSP M0 Academy section for the IO module. This online tutorial will help readers understand the configuration and usage of the I.O. module through successive tasks, questions, and instructions. Of course, we can always refer directly to the driver library and read the documentation in the TRM and datasheet. We highly recommend utilizing the Sysconfig graphical configuration tool. Click according to the steps shown in the figure, checking the corresponding module and parameters. Build the code to generate the header files corresponding to your sysconfig settings. The GPIO module has its own tab in sysconfig, and the configuration of the IO MUX is implicit in the configuration of other peripherals. Each peripheral has its own pin MUX section that corresponds to the IO MUX configuration. If you'd like to learn more about quickly getting started with the MSPM0, please visit the links in the bottom left corner of the slide. These include a link to the online version of our SDK and to the MSPM0 Academies, as well as links to technical documentation. That will conclude our video on the IOMUX peripheral and the MSPM0 devices. Thank you for listening, and please visit these links to download the PowerPoint or to view many other MSPM0 training videos.